Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Hitman. If you enjoy this video, please become a Catholic priest and when people come to admit their confessions to you within the confessional box, tell them that all will be forgiven providing they subscribe to Modest Pelican Gaming, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Today's mission takes us to the city of Marrakesh in Morocco and we must assassinate two targets. Firstly, Claus Hugo Strandberg, a Swedish businessman who is meant to be on trial for his billion dollar investment into the illegal hentai tentacle adult video market but he is currently hiding from the outraged Moroccan people in the Swedish embassy. And our second target is Reza Zadan, a corrupt army general who is helping Claus hide inside the embassy because he is a huge fan of hentai tentacle videos. What a freak. So we spawn into the streets of Marrakesh and I decide to investigate the embassy first. I've got with me a silenced pistol, a few different kinds of lock picks and of course a positive attitude. There's a high military presence in the street so I'll have to keep my wits about me. As I approach the embassy, I overhear these two news reporters complaining about how their cameraman is sick because he ate too much seafood despite being allergic to seafood. What a legend, eating his way through the face of adversity, but anyway, apparently the replacement guy they hired still hasn't shown up yet for the interview they have scheduled with Claus Hugo Strandberg. This is good intel. As I get closer to the embassy, it seems a mob has assembled outside and they are pissed. There's actually only one thing scarier than an angry mob and that is the thought of lying on your deathbed reflecting upon your sad miserable life as the realization sinks in that you have wasted your short time on this earth pursuing unfulfilling endeavors. Wow just kidding. <coughs> I mean spiders. Spiders are scary. This one ringleader dude is riling up the crowd and they are angry Hugo is avoiding jail time and hiding inside, but it begs the question, what do the people of Morocco have against tentacle hentai? I obviously can't just stroll in the front door of the embassy, so I head around the back and jump over an inexplicitly unprotected concrete wall. There's a few guards around, so I try and take cover behind this metal divider, but I flounder for a moment as I forget which button it is to take cover. Excellent play. I then find a door that is unlocked and stroll right through it. The Swedish embassy might want to like call Crim safe and get a security fly screen door installed there or something. I find myself in a parking garage and the military presence is even stronger down here. I need to access the internal staircase to the embassy so it's time to yeet a soldier and take his disguise. I pick up a hammer from a table and turn the generator on for their floodlights which baits a guy inside. Hey does that sage green beret come in men's bro? I proceed to throw the hammer at his head and take the disguise. It works a treat and I am now able to easily make my way up into the embassy. Nothing can stop me now. Well nothing except these two guards who both somehow know that I'm not a soldier and block my path. Eventually one of them leaves but the other dude seems committed to ruining my day. This is actually what makes the game so fun to me though, it's just so unusual. In most games you simply shelve some Adderall and go full sicko mode shooting every single NPC you can find, but in Hitman you have to solve these problems in unique and creative ways. That sounded like paid promotion but it wasn't, but hey, IO Interactive Studios if you include a modest pelican easter egg in your next game that would be acceptable form of payment. Anyway, this military disguise is actually proving to be pretty terrible as basically all the security guards seem to know that I'm not a soldier. I duck into a storeroom and by chance find a janitor outfit which will hopefully work out better. I explore the embassy further and find what looks like some kind of TV set but no sign of Hugo. I head into another room and it has a sensual massage table and even the iconic casting couch. I think we all know what this room is used for filming people playing Scrabble. I then locate Hugo and he is just nonchalantly looking out the window at the angry mob. He then almost spots me and I quickly duck behind this fern. It's reflexes like that which justify why Agent 47 gets paid $16.95 per hour. Damn, look at all these angry Moroccan people though, but the question still beckons as to why they all hate tentacle hentai so much. We need to get to the bottom of this. I eavesdrop on a phone conversation Hugo Hugo is having and he says that he will make his tentacle hentai plans public during today's live TV interview. I need to go and find that missing cameraman so the TV crew outside will get down to business. All I know is that he is missing, other than that I don't have a clue. I search the rug markets, we actually used to have a lot of rug sales in Australia too. Some overhyped man would literally scream at you through the TV about how his rug store was having an epic closing down sale. Time is running out so 50 to 
77% off every rug. So don't miss the deadline. Rugs a million. Just buy a f***ing rug. It was invasive and over the top, but hot damn did people buy a lot of cheap rugs. I stumble across some kind of high class club, but I require an invitation to enter. I don't know much, but I know I want to get into that club. I run around the building and find a back door. There's people everywhere, but I decide to just send it and pick the lock, which was a questionable decision as predictably multiple people see me do this. I play it dumb and just walk inside anyway. This woman with the I want to talk to your manager haircut grills me about how I am trespassing and says that I must leave the area. Well, sorry, you little Ellen looking mamazito, but I'm in too deep now and I proceed to give her a sucker's punch, followed by no joke, a karate chop to the neck. Super sorry about that, ma'am, but not as sorry as I am for this. Might seem a little bit harsh, but she saw my face and we can't have any witnesses, so lol, no regrets. I hide her body and conveniently there is an invitation to this fine establishment in the club storeroom, so I decide to head back to the entrance and enter normally. I get a bit distracted on my way back though and find myself snooping around a rug muncher's shop. I head up to the roof and there is a super seedy creepy man. I'm sorry, but if you're a middle-aged man and you wear clothes like this, then statistically there is a 100% chance you're a sex offender. Unfortunately, the pervert sees me and runs off to get help and I am forced to break his nose. I'm sort of sorry about that big chief, but you saw my face, so say hi to my goldfish for me. Damn, that's two civilians dead in like one minute, but in the wise words of Abraham Lincoln, sometimes you've got to shoot a few unconscious people in the head with a silenced pistol to stop an illegal tentacle hentai crime ring. I also find a master key to the local school, which will be great for later on, as that is where my second target, General Zidane, has set up his base of operations. I head back to the club and have a look around, and it's of the utmost importance that I stay in character. As I am dressed like a seedy old man, I must behave as one. It's all part of the job. I find two lovely ladies and tell them that I am rich. Not rich as in I have lots of money, but rich as in my name is Richard. I was expecting them to both laugh hysterically at my red hot banter and then we all go and like have a threesome or something I guess. But no, instead they tell me to f*** off and proceed to leave. Needless to say, I am doing a superb job of being a seedy old man. I wait for the cameraman to head into the bathroom and then I throw a hammer at his head. This hammer really has been the MVP of my arsenal of weapons. With the cameraman disguise on, it's time to take down Hugo. I go and meet the TV crew and they're like, dude, where the hell have you been? And I'm just like, dude, I've been 420 shisha blazing it. Don't hate on the ganja gangster. They cringe and tell me to kill myself and then we all head over to the embassy. I guess the plan is just to go along with this whole interview charade and then once we get inside we will try to kill Hugo somehow. The receptionist takes us right to him and he is already eagerly awaiting us and we proceed to start the interview. One of the news reporters tells me to start recording and so I press literally one button on the camera that has already been set up and I guess that's my job done. Honestly being a cinematographer is super easy, I don't know why they get so much praise in Hollywood. He tells me to go upstairs and turn the lights up and so I look around for a place to do that while the interview is underway. Hugo then admits on live television that the billions of dollars he has invested into tentacle hentai was to secretly build a giant erotic octopus weapon of mass destruction that would take over Morocco and eventually the rest of Africa and even Europe. Good god, this kinky man must be stopped now. I find the control room and also a winch that releases a moose that is above his head. Honestly, whoever the f*** put that there needs to be fired, but whatever. I send it and the moose falls and crushes Hugo along with his dreams of ever building a giant erotic octopus. The people of Morocco are now safe. Well, they're almost safe. General Zidane is still nearby and we must strike now before he realizes what has just happened. As mentioned earlier, Zidane has turned a nearby school into a military base and it seems that every access point is being heavily guarded. Lucky for me, while I was looking for the cameraman, I stumbled across a soldier who was pretty isolated and so I knock him out and take his disguise. I try and access the school again, but they still won't let me in. I feel like a real victim right now. I wish bully hunters 
has helped poor oppressed gamers like me with offline games as well as online ones. NPCs can be real dicks. Not to worry though, I lure a guard around the corner and then throw a wrench at his head, knocking him unconscious. I then realize a civilian snitch saw the guard fall down, but luckily he did not see me, so I used the commotion to slip into the schoolyard, but my disguise is no good here, so I am therefore unprotected and must be ready to pull out if it gets too hot. There is a lot of soldiers out the front of the school, and so using the key I found earlier, I unlock a door and move around the back to try and find a more secluded entrance. I try to stealth past this guard, but he turns around at the worst possible moment, and I am forced to punch him in the nose, and you guessed it, put a bullet in his brain. Agent 47 is most definitely not a hitman anymore, he is more like a serial killer at this point I guess. Anyway, I upgrade disguises and head into the school, and there are two soldiers laughing about how General Zidane has a micro penis. I notice there's an option to turn the school's intercom on, which of course I do, so that their gossiping is broadcasted to everyone in the building. A short while later, the general comes down and starts yelling at them, saying that technically 2.8 inches isn't considered micro. While he is doing this, I notice that there is a gaping hole right above his head. Well, hot damn. I sprint upstairs, and sure enough, there is a toilet lethally sitting on the edge with an option to kick it, but unfortunately I was too late and the general has already left. I kick the toilet down anyway because aggressively lashing out is Agent 47's coping mechanism. I'll need to find another way to kill Zidane. There is a room in the school with a prisoner being kept with a bag on his head. Fun fact, a lot of the girls I have slept with have asked me to put a bag on my head. Anyway, I've played enough Hitman to know that I'll be able to steal that prisoner's outfit and pretend to be him, but there is simply too many guards around. In fact, this basic soldier outfit just doesn't give me enough access around here. Like I want to get into Zidane's office, but I can't, so it's time to upgrade. All of the officers are wearing red berets, but all of them are surrounded by soldiers. I decide that for the third time this mission, I'm just going to send it. I throw an object to distract the officer, and for some odd reason, one of the soldiers orders the officer to go and check it out. I guess the Moroccan military doesn't follow the same hierarchy structure as, well, literally every other nation's military force. In one of the most YOLO hitman plays of my career, I choke out the officer in broad daylight, barely being sheltered by the truck. I steal his outfit and run inside. Somehow getting away with that, I brush past the soldier, but notice that now I am an officer, I can dismiss him. Well, then it looks like I wear the pants around here now. I enjoy dismissing a few more guards, but then head over to the prisoner and dismiss the guard on duty there. The power surges through my veins. I choke out the prisoner, steal his bag, and then take his place. Now we wait for the general. While I wait, it actually gives me a lot of time to think. Like I ponder the theory that if there really are an infinite amount of universes, there must be a universe out there where the writing in season 8 of Game of Thrones was actually good. Anyway, the tentacle hentai loving general himself comes in and starts talking about what he should do with us. Well, don't think too hard there, big fella, as I spring from my chair and break his neck. GG, mission complete. And thanks for watching, you absolute legends, and a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel through Patreon. Have a good weekend, otherwise, until next time, and as always, stay classy.